You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I'm Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboe, the journal of ourselves, the redeemed Christian Church of God. This commentary intends to bring insights to God's word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Thursday, the 26th day of September 2024, and our topic for today is Destiny Destroyers, Part 1. Please let us pray. Our faithful and dependable Father, King of Glory, our God who sits in heaven and the earth is his footstool. Thank you, Lord, for your great and mighty works in our lives. Thank you for blessing us daily, continually, and consistently. Thank you for the blessing of your word. As we study one more time today, we ask that you would brood upon it by your spirit, minister to our hearts, and grant us the grace for obedience. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Proverbs chapter 6 verse 32. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 32 reads, But whoso committed adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 32. Our text for today is from the book of Judges chapter 16. We'll be reading from verse 5 to 18. Judges chapter 16 Reading from verse 5 to 18 reads, And the lords of the Philistines came up unto her, and said unto her, Entice him, and see wherein his great strength lieth, and by what means we may prevail against him, that we may bind him to afflict him, and we will give thee every one of us eleven hundred pieces of silver. And Delilah said to Samson, Tell me, I pray thee, wherein thy great strength lieth, and wherewith thou mightest be bound to afflict thee. And Samson said unto her, If they bind me with seven green wheats that were never dried, then shall I be weak and be as another man. Then the lords of the Philistines brought up to her seven green wheats which had not been dried, and she bound him with them. Now there were men lying in wait, abiding with her in the chamber. And she said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he brake the wheat as a tread of toe is broken when it toucheth the fire. So his strength was not known. And Delilah said unto Samson, Behold, thou hast mocked me, and told me lies. Now tell me, I pray thee, wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said unto her, If they bind me fast with new ropes that never were occupied, then shall I be weak and be as another man. Delilah therefore took new ropes and bound him therewith, and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And there were liars in wait abiding in the chamber, and he brake them from off his arms like a thread. And Delilah said unto Samson, Hitherto thou hast mocked me and told me lies. Tell me wherewith thou mightest be bound. And he said unto her, If thou weavest the seven locks of my head with the web. And she fastened it with the pin, and said unto him, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awaked out of his sleep, and went away with the pin of the beam and with the web. And she said unto him, How canst thou say I love thee? when thine heart is not with me. Thou hast mocked me these three times, and hast not told me wherein thy great strength lieth. And it came to pass, when she pressed him daily with her words, and urged him, so that his soul was vexed unto death, that he told her all his heart, and said unto her, There had not come a razor upon mine head, for I have been a Nazarite unto God from my mother's womb. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me, and I shall become weak, and be like any other man. And when Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up this once, for he had showed me all his heart. Then the lords of the Philistines came up unto her, and brought money in their hands. 
Judges chapter 16 from verse 5 to 18. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Once again, our topic for today is Destiny Destroyers Part 1. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says to us that the devil is always looking for signs that mark out people of great destinies. You may have noticed long ago that you are not in this world to be ordinary and that there is a great destiny that God has ordained for you. The devil may also sense this and even though he is unable to fully understand it, he will begin to send destiny destroyers to the fellow to ensure that he or she does not fulfill that glorious destiny. One major destiny destroyer the devil tries to use is illicit sex. In Genesis chapter 37 verse 5 to 9, the devil heard Joseph talk about his destiny and marked him for destruction. He tried to get his brothers to kill him, but they ended up selling him into slavery. The devil thought that Joseph would not fulfill his dreams in slavery, but when he saw how he prospered in Potiphar's house even as a slave, he knew that the only way he could stop him was to tempt him with illicit sex, so he sent Potiphar's wife to seduce him. Genesis chapter 39 verse 11 to 12 Thankfully, Joseph did not fall for the temptation because that would have been the end of his big dreams and destiny. Every time you are tempted to engage in illicit sex, that is the devil trying to destroy your destiny. Your response will determine if you will still fulfill destiny or not. No matter how great a person's destiny is, giving room to fornication or adultery will destroy such a fellow. Because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 to 17 that our bodies are God's temple. And if a fellow defiles God's temple, he or she will be destroyed. Samson was really great and powerful, so much so that he could single-handedly defeat an entire army. However, as powerful as he was, he met his defeat in the laps of a woman that he wasn't married to. Before long, he was grinding corn for his enemies. Judges chapter 16 verse 21 if you find out that you are having illicit sexual desires towards someone of the opposite sex, you should run to God for mercy. Go on a fast and pray for those desires to die. This way, you will strengthen yourself enough to avoid falling into the temptation and those illicit sexual desires will die eventually. Beloved, guard yourself against the devil's temptations to engage in sexual immorality. Don't allow him to make you destroy your destiny with your own hands. Resist him and he will flee from you. James chapter 4 verse 7 God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is Destiny Destroyers Part 1. And in today's study, our Father and the Lord considers illicit sex as a very terrible destiny destroyer, one that the enemy uses to destroy great destinies. There is no doubt that the enemy is always on the lookout for great destinies. We can also confirm this from the story of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. While the hosts of heaven were rejoicing that our Savior was born, the enemy was planning and scheming on how to ensure that he was terminated. In today's study, our Father and the Lord tells us that the devil is always looking for signs that mark out people of great destinies. The enemy is interested in those he knows have great assignments. If it seems as though the enemy is not concerned about your case, it is either because he perceives that you do not have a great destiny or you are already in his corner. If you are already on his side, he no longer needs to fight much to have you. It is needless to say that in today's world, sexual perversion has become the order of the day. And this is so sad because it has eaten deep into the fabric of society. Even many of those who are perceived to be Christians are deeply involved. Some would come with many excuses to try to justify themselves. Today's study reveals to us that not only are you disobeying God when you engage in it, you would also be truncating the great destiny that God has for you. So many destinies today have been destroyed on the altar of a few minutes of pleasure. 
never forget that the enemy is a thief and scripture tells us in John 10:10 10, 10, that he has come to steal, to kill and to destroy. He wants to steal that great destiny that God has in store for you. He wants to kill all your visions and ambitions. He wants to destroy your plans and your purpose. He gives you one and takes ten. He is a cheat. Nothing he gives you compares to what he takes from you. He takes your gold and gives you stones, promising you that they are diamonds when they are not. Another important point to note from today's study is the fact that no one should feel that he or she is above sexual temptations. We know the great exploits that Samson did. However, when he was finally caught in the web, scripture tells us in Judges chapter 16 verse 20, and she said, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awoken out of his sleep, and said, I will go out as at other times before, and shake myself. And he wist not that the Lord was departed from him. With all his macho looks and attributes, when the Lord left him, he was at the mercy of his enemies. He thought it was business as usual, but it was not. You may be listening to me today and you think you have been doing this and nothing has happened. It may be your window of grace. Do not take it for granted. And like our Father and the Lord tells us in today's study, do not destroy your destiny with your own hands. Scripture makes us understand that illicit sex and sexual perversions, fornication and adultery reduces its victims. Scripture tells us, for example, in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 26, that for by means of a warish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread. It says, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. The Amplified Version tells us, for an account of a prostitute, when you connect yourself to a man or a woman who is not your spouse, we are told one is reduced to a piece of bread to be eaten up, and the immoral woman hunts with a hook the precious life of a man. Now this is not only addressing men, it also addresses women. What God says to one, he says to all. In today's study, we are told that if you find yourself having illicit sexual desires towards someone of the opposite sex, you should run to God for mercy. Do not try to chest it and say that you are a macho person, you can handle it yourself. Run to God for help and also help yourself as well. Remember that Joseph ran away from Potiphar's wife. He literally left his clothes in her hands. Pray to God about it and also avoid any form of triggers. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and cry unto the Lord. Probably you are facing such temptations at the moment and you are trusting the Lord for grace. You are trusting him for strength to scale through and to remain consistent on your journey with him. Ask the Lord today, say, Father, please grant me the grace to flee the destiny destroyer called sexual sin. It is possible you are not even faced with such temptations. Why not also ask the Lord today for his grace to always be made available to you, that you would have sufficiency of grace to resist it whenever it comes your way. If you are already deep in this sin, call upon God today and ask for his mercy. Say, Father, I come to you today. Please have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus. Ask him to cleanse you and ask him for the grace to say no, the grace to resist the enemy and all of the temptation that he brings. Ask the Lord today that no matter how the world around us sinks in sexual sin, he will help us to remain standing strong and that we too will continue to shine our lights. Bless the name of the Lord, thank him, honor him and appreciate him for answers to prayers. Father, we are grateful because we are victorious. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Everlasting Father, we thank you for your word to us today. Thank you for granting to us the wisdom to discern and to stay away from the destiny destroyer of sexual immorality. We ask that you would help us, continue to strengthen us on this journey and grant us victory at last. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's study that tells us, flee from sexual immorality. It is a destiny destroyer. We receive the grace today to abstain from all forms of sexual immorality and to never be affected by the wind of it blowing around us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Haggai chapter 1 down to chapter 2. We also want to sincerely thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone, 
or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 31 of our Open Heavens devotional. We will be singing, Yield Not to Temptation. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. We love you greatly. God bless you and bye for now. I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.